Hey guys, it's Chris Hill with Help the Other Guy. We're here with Jeremy Coaches from CrossFit Reviver here in Rochester. You guys might have heard the word CrossFit before or CrossFit training. I go to the gym, I do legs on Monday, I do chest on Tuesday. These guys don't work out that way. So Jeremy, what do you guys do at CrossFit Reviver? CrossFit is based on constantly varied functional movements done at a high intensity. So what that means is it's always changing. We're not gonna do the same things week in and week out. Um, functional movements are things that your body was built to do and meant to do, um, where we train movements rather than muscle groups. Yeah. Um, and then the high intensity is once that you can perform these movements uh, properly and safely, we wanna ramp it up and go harder, go faster, lift heavier weights and get better results. Ideally, that's what I like to do as well. Um, but I don't. So these guys in here are going to show us a few different things that a typical CrossFit workout would look like. All right, Jeremy, we got four guys here lined up ready to do some CrossFit training. What exactly are they going to do? The workout that they're doing today is uh, five rounds of three handstand push-ups, five hang power cleans, seven toes to bar, and nine kettlebell swings. They're doing these five rounds as fast as they possibly can. Um, this workout is mixing both body weight movements with weightlifting movements to get that full body workout. All right, Jeremy. Well, I'm going to let you get these guys started and we'll see how a CrossFit workout really uh, looks. Sounds great. Here we go, boys. Starting in three, two, one, go. Job, fellas. All right, Jeremy, those guys did a pretty intense workout. It took them about five and a half minutes to complete. They're pretty exhausted, but what if somebody has never been to a CrossFit gym before? What would a beginner do? Oh, that's, that's a great question. One of the best things about CrossFit is that it's scalable to any fitness level. So instead of changing the workout, we would just modify the movements for someone who's maybe at a little bit lower fitness level or brand new to the program. Okay, well, I'm going to get out of your way, and you're going to show everybody what exactly a beginner workout would be. Sweet. So instead of doing the handstand push-ups, Maddie can grab some dumbbells and do some dumbbell presses overhead. Instead of the hang power cleans, uh, we could do some deadlifts here like B's doing, or we could take the weight down and stick with the hang power cleans as well. Instead of the toes to bar, Paulie here is just doing some knee raises while hanging from the bar, getting those knees up as high as he can. So Vince, instead of doing an American swing overhead, he's gonna do a Russian swing, which is just above his eye level, using a little bit lighter kettlebell, which would help out for someone who's not at an advanced level. All right, we wanna thank Jeremy again for showing us a bunch of different workouts that you can do at a CrossFit gym. You know, I might now join a CrossFit gym now that I see that you can get a great workout in, in about 10 minutes. So Jeremy, give us three things that somebody needs to do or know when they're choosing a CrossFit gym. So if you're going into an affiliate, uh, what you want to look for, number one, are the trainers. Okay. All right, these are the guys who are in charge of your fitness, so you want to make sure that they know what they're doing uh, and they're, they're going to take the time to, to help you learn. Number two, um, you want to get a good feel for the community that's, that's there. Um, CrossFit is very big with community, so you want to make sure you're going to have a good time when you're there. And number three, um, make sure that they do some sort of on-ramp or foundations classes with you to teach you the proper way to do the movement so that you, don't, uh, you take the risk of injury right out of the question. Those things make sense. So Jeremy, we discussed a couple of things that people need to do when looking for a CrossFit gym. What if they want to come here? Yeah, great question. So uh, we, we have our, our website is CrossFitReviver.com. Um, we post all of our info on there, our phone number and emails on there. So you could contact us that way. You could stop by. Um, our address is on the website as well. Um, for the Help the Other Guy audience out there, uh, first session is on us, so come right. you know, get in touch with us. We can schedule an appointment to get you guys in here for sure. Well, we want to thank you again, Jeremy, for having us today. And don't forget, you know, being a guy isn't easy. We're here to help. We'll be right back with more Help the Other Guy.